Surrey is a fiber that has its own identity. Surrey is silky, it's luminous, it has a slight halo that doesn't feel overbearing, doesn't hide your stitches. Surrey is a material that elevates what it's used in. Surrey is something special. I'm primarily a knitwear designer, so when I look for materials to use, I know that they're going to be worn as garments. When I look at Surrey, I'm always thinking about how does that look on the body? How is it gonna drape? How am I going to construct a sleeve or a shoulder in a way that highlights the material? When you're first learning to use Surrey, you really need to embrace the qualities that it brings as far as drape, volume, and color. You don't wanna to try to make it a fiber that it's not. Surrey feels different on the needles, in my hands, while I'm designing with it, it just lends different qualities than the fluffy teddy bear texture of the wakaya. It's more sophisticated. It's a little more elegant. I really wanna see Surrey step out of the shadows of wakaya alpaca. I think for too long, alpaca has been seen as this very generic thing. In the wool space, we're seeing all this definition of breed. We're seeing a lot of breed-specific fiber come to the forefront and people are beginning to understand the differences and celebrate those differences. I would love to see the same thing happen for alpaca, to where someone can pick up a skein in a yarn store and say, this is Surrey alpaca or this is Wakaya alpaca. And the only way knitters will know that is through experience and touch and experimentation. So I'm hoping to see Surrey on more needles, on more shelves, and in more projects.